Hey YouTube, I just wanted to kind of go over some things that I found here with my boat. Um, I got a Bravo 3 here, and I noticed a little bit of a stiff shifting, and I couldn't really find a ton of real good information on this stuff. But anyway, I redid all my shift cables, and I still had a little bit of a stiff, stiff spot. Let me show you what I found here. So, on the Bravo 3, on the front of your case, which is just this right here, on the back there's what's called a detent ball. That's what this is. And inside the deep tent ball, there's a spring that sits in there. And then this spring, essentially, hold on. This spring sits in that. Now this spring would recoil, but the ball itself would not recoil, and it's supposed to. And so I pulled mine apart. I had a, um, like I said, a little bit of a stiff shift. And I this was my old detent ball right here and as you can see if I push that in that ball doesn't recess but this spring would so I mean it would still shift it was just a little bit stiff and that ended up being my shift problem here on my Bravo 3 on my Mercruiser Bravo 3 um, it just sits in there I got this gasket let's see there's the detent assembly part number and I think it might have been an older part number it might uh, uh, go to a newer part number now but uh, anyway, what happens is, is why that detent goes to crap is last year, well, the last couple years, you know, when your shift boot goes bad, I don't know, you can't quite see it in there, but it, just, it sits up and back there. Your shift cable comes through here and the boot is in there and then it connects to your shift lever. And that's what this lever is right here. Now, and then it comes over to here and then your detent sits in here. This pocket right here, is not filled with oil it's an air cavity so if you get a, a leak in your shift boot you might as you you probably do have water in here as well and that's not good because what happens is it rusts off all this stuff and as you can see on mine i do have surface rust and i and i did replace this arm at one point because what happened was this arm right here is this dowel here um just started wearing out and then it snapped as I was coming into the dock. And so I ended up just turning off my boat and uh, we were at Lake Powell and I ended up pulling apart my drive and I found out that that had snapped and I was able to get a piece of that and I was able to feed it back through and everything and, and uh, finish our trip luckily. But that I, I've seen that snap and that's a, that's a bummer. So a lot of the times if you end up pulling this apart, I'd recommend maybe inspecting that, making sure that that's not worn in and that you still have plenty of time to go with that shift lever there but i just as far as the detent ball super easy you drain all your your gear lube as you can see there and uh essentially you pull off this cap i have a drive shower so i have like a little bolt that goes through here but you just pull off these two here and this one down here and i keep some pressure on it because it wants to spring back at you you just kind of slowly roll it back and uh, you can ex inspect that detent ball in case you have a little bit of a shifting issue uh, with your Bravo. It should be the same for any Bravo. Bravo 1, Bravo 2, and Bravo 3 um, all have those detent balls. Essentially what's different from the Bravo 3 and Bravo 2 and Bravo 1 is essentially just this lower half. Hey, take that down please. Sorry, kids. Um, it's essentially just this lower half. So, you know, you um, just something to, to look into, something that I found, and uh, I, uh, you know, when I drop my gear oil, this is the gear lube that I put back in. I put the high performance uh, gear lube back in, and uh, it, you know, I, I run my boat uh, a lot, so I like to run with the best. Um, I do also, I've ran the Quicksilver stuff too, so they're both good. Here's the part number for that. Uh, Let's see if you can make heads or tails out of that. And like I said, that little pin there likes to shear. And so sometimes it's, um, this is the arm I had to replace in my boat when I went there. So I just got, grabbed one of those just in case when I pulled my detent ball that, uh, you know, if that was bad, I was going to go ahead and swap that out too. Anyway, uh, just something that I found and something that... Uh, I didn't see a whole lot of, I mean, I've seen people talking about it, but not a video of how to, 
very very easy to look at very easy to find out um, doesn't take a whole lot Just make sure you drain your fluid before you pull it and there's kind of your view thank you Bye.